So the other night during prayer, I was given this imagery that I would love to share with the body of Christ for encouragement. So we were praying with a pastor in our house and the Lord, while we were praying for him, the Lord gave me this imagery. I saw people praying in his church and they were dancing with flags and in prayer and in worship. And as they did this, there was a fire that would get bigger and bigger and it would get to a point where it would like just rage. The fire would just light the whole building up and in the corners of the church where the enemy was hiding, when the fire would ignite um, and get big like that, the enemy would be exposed and he would flee from the church. So the Lord was giving me a picture of what prayer and intercession does for a church. It literally protects it. It literally lights up everything. And wherever the enemy is trying to cause darkness or wherever works of darkness are taking place with people, places, or things, when you have intercession in your church, the fire will expose and remove the enemy and he will have no choice but to flee. So after that, there was, an, there was another image and it was of a, a huge wave. And you know how when a wave hits and it crashes and then it pulls back, usually it leaves behind like ugly seaweed, like ugly things. Well, this wave, when it crashed over this brother's church, when it pulled back, it left treasures all over the sand. So that was the Lord revealing that there was going to be a shift and it was going to seem like a, like a crash, like a mighty, like something overtaking the church, shifting it, changing it, um, like a storm, you know, a wave, it was going to hit. But once it receded, we were going to see that it left behind treasures. So it actually took away what was bad and left behind the good. And I think that's a picture of revival, a picture of what happens when the people of God begin to get cleansed um, by, by the spirit of God. When that wave hits, that cleansing wave, even God's judgment is an act of mercy because when his judgment falls upon a people, it's to cleanse and it's so we'll repent. It's so those things that we clung to as idols will break and hurt us and then we can come back to him in purity and that's the treasures being left behind. Just um, what the wave seems like it's going to cause destruction. But actually, when it's over with, it brings something beautiful. So don't be afraid of the waves. Um, so those are, that's just the imagery I got during prayer. I just wanted to share it with the body of Christ because I thought it was beautiful. And I think it doesn't just apply to the person we were praying with, but I think it applies to the body in general. Just the importance of intercession and prayer. And the thought that revival might not come in a way that we think. It might be a great cleansing instead of a great influx of people. It might be a cleansing of the people who are already there so that when the influx of new people come in, we will be ready. We will have clean hands and a pure heart to embrace them. So with that said, God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Share if you feel led.